Now, Army veteran Major General G.D. Bakshi has launched his latest book, The Songs of Soma, a book that puts a soldier's art on display where he shares his spiritual journey. Our next report gets you more. Major General G.D. Bakshi added another feather to his cap as he launched Songs of Soma, a book sharing his spiritual life experience. Better known for his fierce arguments and panel discussions, this book reveals a different, lesser known side of the army veteran. Major General G.D. Bakshi divulged the essence of Sanskrit word Soma and how Soma also ignites courage. The whole theory of Indian art and aesthetics is focused on rasa, you see, and Soma is the highest. Soma is said to be the king of the medicinal plants. You know, Soma was a concept, a meta-concept of the Vedas. It had a whole spectrum of meanings. There is the, the Soma that comes, biological Soma, that when you meditate, that, you know, the endorphins, encephalins, those neurotransmitters start secreting, which are the opiates of the brain. They give you ecstasy, serotonin, huh? Uh, dopamine, these are mood elevators. The brain starts secreting them. So this is the endogenous concept of Soma, meditation. There is the concept of Soma that, you know, when your life is threatened, you know, when you face darkness, you are about to die. This burst of Soma comes, this burst of endorphins comes to make you ecstatic. Forget your pain. You know, the family of the caveman is attacked by a tiger, saber-toothed tiger. Can the family run faster than a tiger? No. So, but that is the time this man stands and fights. The book launch was an artistic affair in that it also displayed paintings which were depictions of the poems penned by Major General G.D. Bakshi. Close to nature, the book, the poems, the painting and the setup aim to make their case in point keeping ecology at the centre. We first held, with the Worldwide Fund for Nature, we held, you know, the uh, 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 exhibition of uh, her paintings and renditions of eco-poetry, poetry based on nature. So that is the theme we are trying to repeat here today. But what I have added in the meantime is my next two books. One was the Quantum Book of Soma, a reinterpretation of the Vedic wisdom, Today we have the songs of Soma. The songs of Soma. This is transcreation of the hymns of the Rig Veda. What I want to tell you is, what I want to tell you is that the Indians or the Indic civilization has got deep, deep ecological roots. The Vedas are books of the forest. Fortunate, you know, to have uh, Dad always talking about these concepts when we were really little. So um, I sort of, uh, we were also in touch with uh, people from WWF who were working to preserve uh, the black neck cranes. They are an endangered uh, species of birds. So we, uh, for me, his concept of Soma, his concept of, uh, you know, the black neck cranes as symbols of uh, transmigration of the soul, uh, these were, uh, I paint, so you know, they uh, gave me a lot of food for thought, a lot of beautiful imagery, which I try to, uh, you know, put across in, on my canvases. So, uh, most of the paintings are, you know, they're depicting the symbolic aspect of the black neck cranes. And, uh, you know, for instance, the cranes, as they're seen as symbols of prosperity uh, to the locals in Ladakh. So we have, you know, the vases of plenty to signify the, the cranes as symbols of uh, good fortune. And uh, there's also the flight of the crane seen as the flight of the, you know, the migration of the soul from one life to another. What unique about today's event was that those poems and those ideas were uh, you know, represented on these beautiful canvases around me. With me are the artists who've done the hard work and the beautiful work of understanding the very uh, critical and uh, difficult concept of Soma and making these beautiful pin uh, paintings out here, explaining uh, the idea General Bakshi uh, really uh, put down uh, on paper in his books. Moreover, the event also gave a platform to artists who were inspired with the thoughts expressed by Major General Chidi Bakshi in his writings. 
Yeah, I, I read his book, uh, Dances with the Cranes, and I was able to connect to where he was coming from spiritually because I was uh, I understood the journey that he had gone through because he went from a place of not being aware uh, to a place where uh, memories were triggered by the birds and by the incense, which I tried to represent in my painting. And uh, that journey, I think, he's moved on from there. He said in his speech also that he moved to a place where he felt uh, a sort of light, you know, he enjoyed that place of meditation and silence and nothingness. So I try to express those things through my paintings. And all, all, all we can see over here is the entire work on the canvas resonating with the thought of Soma as to how can you reach that point in your life where everything seems, you know, more daisy, more fresh, and where you feel alive like you've never been before. This is Madhurima Mishra with Vijay Anup for Republic TV.